Well, meanwhile, Stephen and Marilyn. I just unmuted myself. Marilyn is not here, but she's only an observer usually, so it doesn't matter. Just tell me when it's uh, good to start singing. You can start singing right now. There is a manual. Nah. Mute myself. Okay, I had, to un I had to unmute myself twice, so let me start again. There is a man you'll hear about most anywhere you go. His holdings are in Texas, and his name is Diamond Joe. And he carries all his money in a diamond studded jar. And he never much was bothered by the process of the law. I hired out a Diamond Joe, boys, I did offer him my hand. And he gave me a string of horses so old they could not stand. I like to starve to death, boys. He did mistreat me so that I never saved one dollar in the pay of Diamond Joe. His bread it was corn dodger, and his meat I could not charge. And he drove me near distracted with the wagging of his jaw. For the telling of my story, I mean to let you know that there never was a rounder who could lie like Diamond Joe. I tried three times to quit him, but he did argue so. That I'm still wrangling horses in the pay of Diamond Joe. And when I'm called up yonder, and it is my time to go. Give my saddle to my messmate, give my fleece to Diamond Joe. Diamond Joe. Yay. Here, here's Marilyn, she just arrived. Thank you, Stephen. Um, I'm sorry I forgot um, to um, announce the next singer on my list of singers. It's going to be Ray. Ray McLaughlin, followed by Judy Cook. Hello. So. I'm muting myself. So I'll unmute myself then, yeah. I'm okay, good to go, yeah. Um, been catching me sort of out there, I've no, point, no time to change my mind. So I'll just sing this song. It's a sort of a very contemporary folkish type song uh, by an Irish group called A Lazarus Soul deals with sort of contemporary issues. Smoking lemon sevens through a broken bottleneck. Smoking lemon sevens through a broken bottleneck. Pills ground down like powder till your problems are no louder than a little infant whimpering for ma to come and help. Passed out in a dark and damp romantic alleyway. A stranger whispered in your ear and carried you away. Nodding to the Revan top deck of the 67 too. A college town in Kildare where the love affair began. Here's me head, me arse is coming down the Straffan Road. Bag of cans in hand and red haired lover boy in tow. The locals think you're shady, but you, you are a lady with a love so fine and genuine that only few should know. Sleeping in a tomb and tent beside the Royal Canal. Drinking in the harbour filled with all your traveller pals. 
You'd love a country cottage, but you haven't got a sausage, so. You're sleeping in a two-man tent beside the Royal Canal. But love won't stop the winter when you're on the bottom rung. The cider got his liver and the cold got in his lungs. You pretend you didn't notice with your bandage and your poultice, but his sores, they got infected and the cold got in his lungs. They treated you like vagrants and they said the ward was full. There upon the floor of James Conley Memorial, your prince, he slept for a thousand years, and you, you wept a puddle of tears as you threw his few belongings off a cold Bull Island pier. All along the North Strand with no lover boy in tow, back into the city to the only life you know. You needed one to kill the pain, and love like that, it knows no shame. Met an old friend in a lonely lane, Rekindled an old flame, smoke and lemon sevens through a broken bottleneck. Smoke and lemon sevens through a broken bottleneck. Pills ground down like powder till your problems are no louder than a little infant whimpering for ma to come and help. A little infant whimpering for ma to come and help. You know. Heavy duty and final. No, Ray, I've not heard that one before. Mm. No, that's very new. It's no, just I? released in an album last year, 2019, oh. by a band called The Lazarus Soul. Ah, fine. Thanks for that. Wow. Okay. Can we have um, uh, following that Judy, followed by Maggie? <coughs> I've only. You need to unmute yourself, Judy. And so I did. I just want to make sure that's okay. Um, so this is a, a song of a true incident from the American Civil War. Um, the, the Battle of Gettysburg was a turning point in July, early July of 1863. And um, Pickett, Pickett's charge at Gettysburg uh, was uh, something that a lot of people uh, over here know about. It was a very tragic charge. They, they charged up a hill to a defended position and were pretty much slaughtered. But a few days before the, that, they marched through a town of Greencastle, Pennsylvania, just a few miles from Gettysburg. And um, uh, this, is, this is what happened there. It's called Greencastle Jenny. Greencastle streets were a stream of steel with the slanted muskets the soldiers bore. The raw earth trembled and shook to feel the tramp and the rumble of Longstreet's core. Bands were blaring the bonny blue flag the banners born were a motley many, and watching that gray column wind and drag was a slip of a girl, we'll call her Jenny. A slip of a girl, what needs her name? Her eyes aflame and her lips a quiver as she stood and stared with a loyal shame at the steady flow of that steely river. Then the storm grew dark in her hazel eyes that time had not tamed, nor a lover sighed for. And she went and girded her apron-wise in the flag she loved that her brothers died for. Out of the doorway they saw her start. Pickett's Virginians were marching through. The hot little foolish hero's heart, armed with the stars and the sacred blue. Clutching the folds of red and white stood she, and bearded those ranks of theirs. 
yelling shrilly with all her might, come on and take it, the man who dares. Pickett's Virginians were marching through, supple as steel and brown as leather, dusty and musty of hat and shoe, wanted to hunger and war and weather. Peerless, fearless, an army's flower, sterner soldiers the world never saw, marching grimly that summer's hour to death and failure and fame forever. Then there rose from the rippling ranks a cheer, Pickett saluted with bold eyes beaming, sweeping his hat like a cavalier, his tawny locks in the warm sun streaming. And fierce little Jenny, her courage fell as those gray lines flickered with friendly laughter. And green castle streets gave back the yell that Gettysburg slopes gave back soon after. So they cheered for the flag they fought with the generous glow of a stubborn fighter, loving the brave as brave men ought, and never a finger was raised to fright her. On they marched, though they knew it not, through that warm green dew to the shock infernal, to the sound of the shell and the musket shot, to the charge that has won them a name eternal. And she knew at last as she hid her face what had lain at the root of her childish daring, a trust in the men of her own brave race, a secret of faith in the foe's forbearing. And she wept till the roll of the rumbling guns and the steady tramp of the marching men were a memory only, and day was done, and the stars in the fold of the blue again. Greencastle Jenny. Lovely. It was a, thank you. It was a, a poem by Helen Cohn. It was written soon after the incident, and uh, the tune was written by Bob Zentz, who currently lives in Norfolk, Virginia. Mm. Oh, wow. that was lovely. Yes. Uh, one of my Good favorites. Song. And we've got Maggie. Have we got one or two of you? We, we've got two. two. <laughs> two. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, I get it. Followed, yeah. by, followed okay. by Wendy. Okay. Right, right. Me first. Um, what inspired me to dig out this old song? Well, they're all they're all old songs, aren't they? Um, we were in um, sunny East Finchley, uh, in the Avenue House Gardens. Avenue House, as you know, used to be the home of Inky Stevens, the man with the ink. Right, and they've got a very nice pond in there with big grey carp and some gold ones and coots and their little chicks and much to my surprise hidden in the water a crayfish so i thought oh i'll sing this song which i think i first remember from the late john pierce uh but also i suspect more recently packy burn also late <laughs> right Oh, there was a little man, and he had a little horse, and he saddled it and bridled it and threw his leg out horse across Mr. Adalam a daddlem. Oh, Mr. Adalam a daddlem a day. He rode and he rode till he came to a brook, and there he saw a fisherman a fishing with his hook. Mr. Adalam a daddlem. Oh, Mr. Adalam a daddlem a day. Oh, fisherman, oh, fisherman, oh, fisherman, sissy, have you got a lobster that you can sell to me? Mr. Raddle and my daddle and my, oh, 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 Mr. Raddle and my daddle and my day. Oh, no, sir, oh, no, sir, oh, no, sir, says he, but I've got a crabfish that I will sell to thee. Mr. Raddle and my daddle and, oh, 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 Mr. Raddle and my daddle and my day. Well, he grabbed the crabfish by the backbone, 
put it over his shoulder and galloped off home, oh, Mr. Raddle and my daddle and oh, oh, Mr. Raddle and my daddle and my day. Well, when he got home, he couldn't find a dish, so he put it in the pot where his missus yes to pish. Mr. Raddle and my daddle and my oh, oh, Mr. Raddle and my daddle and my day. In the middle of the night, she got up to squat, and the crabfish grabbed her by the glory be to God, Mr. Raddle and my daddle and oh, 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 Mr. Raddle and my daddle and my day. Oh, husband, oh, husband, oh, husband, come hither. The devil's in the piss pot and got me on the slither, Mr. Raddle and my daddle and oh, 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 Mr. Raddle and my daddle and my day. Well, she grabbed the brush and he grabbed the broom and they beat the little crab fish all around the room. Mr. Raddle and my daddle and oh, I'm Mr. Raddle and my daddle and my day. Well, they beat him on the head and they beat him on the side and they beat him in the liver and the poor old bugger died. Mr. Raddle and my daddle and oh, I'm Mr. Raddle and my daddle and my day. Now, the moral of this story is very plain to see. Always take a shifty before you have a pee, Mr. Raddle and my daddle and my do, and Mr. Raddle and my daddle and my day. Indeed. Yeah. Yes, George, George Miller used to do a, a much more ribald version of that song, which he called the Liverpool Lobster Song. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> do you know it? Oh, yes. Well, you should sing it later. <laughs> have to be very much later after this program. <laughs> we want we want to hear it at some point. That will have to be after the watershed. Right, now. Over, over to you. Over, over to, you. to me. Okay. Sorry. This one's not very bedded in, so I'm trying to not sing your tune. <laughs> How did it start? It will not say. The oyster mutant low and grey. Received a speck of grit one day, and so it wept a pearl. It could not make it go away, and so it wept a pearl. This song's for the oyster. This song's for the oyster, oh. This song's for the oyster. This song's for the oyster, oh. Mysterious it moves us so that deep down in the sea below, a tiny rattan could grow, shine smoother than the moon. Uh, become a globe whose perfect glow shines smoother than the moon. This song's for the oyster. This song's for the oyster, oh. This song's for the oyster. This song's for the oyster, oh. One so absorbed a merchant soul, the good book says he sold up whole. For one specimen his goal, in the parable of heaven. Pearl of great price, its starring role in the parable was heaven. This song's for the oyster, this song's for the oyster, oh. This song's for the oyster. This song's for the oyster, oh. What would it be its point of view, poor creature, if it only knew the price to pay for what it grew in, yielding up its treasure? Did it go to heaven too, in yielding up its treasure? This song's for the oyster. This song's for the oyster, oh. This song's for the oyster. This song's for the oyster, oh. Oyster, clench your ruffled shell, for dear life someone else will tell about the grain of sand that fell into beauty and perfection. It just made you feel unwell, all oh, that beauty and perfection. This song's for the oyster. This song's for the oyster, oh. This song's for the oyster. This song's for the oyster. Oh. Well, let me there, folks. Shut up. I don't think I've ever heard a song about an oyster before. We had oh, a oh, oyster. Oh, the walrus and the carpenter. That's true. R Rack Racker has a poem about an oyster. Uh, not the same. And what sort of a noise, a noise, an oyster, of course? Oh, yes, of course. 
Okay, thank you, Maggie, for that. And can we have uh, Wendy followed by Martin Nail, please? Okay, um, this is the first time I've sung this song. Uh, it's a song by Kate McGarrigal. Uh, so, over in the, over, over the water again. Some say the heart is just like a wheel. If you bend it, you can mend it. And my love for you is like a sinking ship. And my heart is on that ship out in mid-ocean. They say that death is a tragedy. It comes once and then it's over. But I can't help but wish for that deep, dark abyss. For what's the use of living with no true lovers? And it's only love, and it's only love that can wreck a human being and turn you inside out. And it's only love, and it's only love that can wreck a human being and turn you inside out. When harm is done, no love can be won. I know it happens frequently. But I can't understand, please hold my hand, is why it should have happened to me. Some say the heart is just like a wheel, if you bend it, you can mend it. And my love for you is like a sinking ship. And my heart is on that ship out in mid-ocean. And it's only love, and it's only love. Like can wreck a human being and turn you inside out. And it's only love, and it's only love. Like can wreck a human being and turn you inside out. Oh, so beautiful. I love that song, Wendy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You too. I haven't heard it for ages either. Right, we've got uh, Mar after Martin Nail and following Martin Pal Carter. <laughs> Right, and they all, yeah, all muted except me. This is a sort of song, I'm sure you all know it, that I learnt from uh, Freddie Mackay, the late, great Freddie Mackay, where, <coughs> excuse me, when I was only 16 years of age, into the army I did engage. I left the factory and with true intent, I joined the 32nd Regiment. To Fulwood Barracks 
sky when did thou to spend some time at that depot but fortunate i was not to be for captain hansen took a dislike to me it happened one morning as i as i was serving on guard one day three sergeant's children came out to play i took one name instead of all three with neglect of duty they did charge me at full wood guard room i did appear but captain hansen my case would not hear so to my fate i was resigned and in full work barracks i was confined for thirteen weeks my hatred grew it filled my body all through and through until indeed I resolved one night to shoot Captain Hansen dead on sight. It happened one morning on the barrack square. Captain Hansen was walking with Colonel Blair. I raised my rifle and I shot to kill, but I shot my colonel against my will. I done the deed, I shed his blood at Liverpool assizes my trial i stood the judge says to me mccaffrey prepare yourself for the gallows tree i have no father to bear my part nor yet a mother for to break her heart only one friend and the girl is she would lay down her young life for mccaffrey Come um, all you young Irishmen and take a warning from me and have nothing to do with any army for it's only lies and tyranny made a murderer out of mccaffrey thanks martin that's good um I've noticed there's quite a few new faces here um, who haven't put their hands up. 
just in case you haven't worked it out how, you go to the bottom of your page of um, participants and you should be able to see a blue hand. And once you've clicked your blue hand, you'll go on the list of singers and I call the singers in order that they appear on my list. They apparently appear on other people's lists completely different, but on my list it's, it's as, it, as it is. So it'd be nice to see you. Meanwhile, let's have um, Pal followed by Bob Askew. Okay, the first time I heard this song sung was by the Grateful Dead. And then I discovered that Cecil Sharp actually collected it in the Southern Appalachians. So I feel totally justified in singing a Grateful Dead song. <clears throat> As we rode out to Fenerio, as we rode out to Fenerio, our captain fell in love with a lady like a dove, and he called her by name, pretty Peggy O. Will you marry me, pretty Peggy O? Will you marry me, pretty Peggy O? If you will marry me, I'll set your cities free and free all the ladies in the area. I would marry you, sweet William, oh. I would marry you, sweet William, oh. I would marry you, but your guineas are too few. And I fear my mama would be angry, oh. What would your mother think, pretty Peggy O? What would your mother think, pretty Peggy O? What would your mother think when she hears my guineas cold, sees me marching at the head of my soldiers O? Oh, if ever I return, Pretty Peggy O, oh. if ever I return, pretty Peggy O, oh. if ever I return, your cities I will burn, destroy all the ladies in the area. Come stepping down the stairs. Pretty Peggy O, oh. come stepping down the stairs. Pretty Peggy O, oh. come stepping down the stairs. Combing back your yellow hair and bid a last farewell to your William O. Oh. Sweet William, he is dead. Pretty Peggy O, oh. sweet William, he is dead. Pretty Peggy O, oh. sweet William, he is dead. And he died for a maid. And he's buried in Louisiana County O. Oh. He's buried in Louisiana. County That's fantastic. Very nice. Nice. Very unusual version. Excellent. version. <laughs> Lovely, pal. Um, we've got next is Bob and following Bob is uh, David Diamond. Hmm? Huh? 
How's your muting going, Caroline? Oh yeah. Sorry. Oof. Briefly distracted by something. Can't hear you, Bob. You're unmuted, but we can't hear you. Still. Can you speak, Bob? No, we can't hear you. Okay. I'll send you a chat message. Okay. Microphone trouble. Better go to the next. Okay. Sorry, Bob. Uh, David Diamond. You okay? Oh, there's another one we can't. Oh, he's muted. That's why. You're muted. That's it. Uh, we can't hear you, David. Still can't hear you, David. The technological gremlins are at it again. It's they catching. Are. It's catching too. Yeah. It's can you hear me now? <laughs> but they are. David's not with us, and Bob disappeared. Can you hear me now? Yes. You can. Can we? Yeah. Where's my vision gone? Can you see me? I can't see you, but we can hear you, but we can't hear David. So are you going to sing us a song, Bob? Well, I, well, I could. I don't see why you can't see me. <laughs> well, go, click your um, video on or just sing. Oh, start video. Hold on. There you go. Right. Am I here? You're there. David, I, don't know, I don't know where it went before, but um, I thought there might have been some trouble because something came up at the beginning. Right, I'd like to sing um, The Margaret and the Mariner. This was collected uh, in Titchfield, just down the road from me here in Hampshire at the moment. And it's a smuggling song. Smuggling songs are very rare because if you sung about smuggling being good, you didn't usually live long. But this, this was actually collected there. And I think it was written in England, although it's about an Irish... Uh, incident. Margaret and the Mariner. Said the Margaret to the Mariner, it's time for us to cruise, for yonder lies a smuggler and she belongs to us. We boldly go alongside of her and find from where she came, or if she be a cruiser, down in St Peter's Bay, fall the roll, roll the day, fall the roll, the roll, the roll, Fall the roll the day. Oh yes, I'm that bold smuggler that comes from foreign land, from France and to old Ireland. I land me contraband. I'll not show you off my papers free or tell you where I land my cargo. And if you come alongside of me, damn little I reward you. Fall the roll, roll the day. Fall the roll, the roll, the roll. Fall the roll the day. For the action it begun, and it lasts from ten to one. We fought those saucy cruisers and gave them gun for gun. It's true we fought those cruisers, forced them to give o'er, but we surely sunk the Margaret and the Mariner run on shore. Fall the roll, roll the day. Fall the roll, the roll, the roll. Fall the roll the day. Well, the people of old Ireland, they all did see the fight. On every hill, on every bank, stood many a Shannon bride. Tis true they all did see the fight, heard the cannons roar. They seen us sink the Margaret and the Mariner run on shore. Fall the roll, roll the day. Fall the roll, the roll, the roll. 
for the roll the day. A landlord fill the bumper and make the glass go round is to all the good people that lives in Kerry Town. Is to all the good people that's on the Nona Blue. Bad luck to all the cruisers, good luck to the smuggling trade. Fall the roll the day, fall the roll, the roll the roll, fall the roll the day. Thank you, Bob. Um, well, well, um, got over your technical difficulties. How are you doing, David? How are your technical difficulties? Can't hear you. No, yes, hear you. Sadly, we still can't hear you. Oh dear. Um, Try this. Oh, no. okay. hey, we got you. Hey. I think well, right, we're going <laughs> to mute everybody and then unmute yourself. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, there we are. I'm back. Uh, okay. Uh, some of you will have heard of uh, Trump University, uh, which only taught Hi. one lesson. Can you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> they only taught one lesson, which was not to invest in uh, anything with the name Trump on it, because uh, they all lost their money and didn't learn anything. And uh, this is not a new idea. Uh, it was, uh, we have traces of it in the uh, 19th century, I think, in a place called uh, Paddy West's house, which I will now sing about. As I was walking down London Road, I come to Paddy West's house. They give me a meal of American hash. And he called it Liverpool South, Scouse. Hey, eh? he says there's a ship, she's wanting hands, and Donna, you must sign. The mate's a bastard, the boatswain's worse, she's bound to suit you fine. We had not long been in there when the wind began to blow. Paddy sends me to the attic, the main royal thought of stow. But when I got to the attic, no main royal could I find. So I turned myself round to the window and I felt the wind a blind. I forgot the chorus. Take off your dungaree jackets. Take off your dung. Oh, well, I've got to miss it out. I've forgotten the tune. <laughs> Take off your dungaree jackets. Dungaree jackets and give yourselves a rest. And we'll think of them cold nor'westers that we had at Paddy West. And thank you. Uh, <clears throat> no. Uh, now seeing you bound for the southern lands, the Frisco you'll be bound. And his wife, she stands in the doorway with a bucket in her hand. And Paddy yells, now let her rip, and she slings the water our way. Saying, clue up your four to Gansel's boys. He's taking in the spray and take off your dungaree jacket. Give yourselves a rest and we'll think of them cold nor'westers that we had at Paddy West. Now, since you're bound to the southern lads, to Frisco you'll be bound. And Paddy calls for a length of rope and he lays it on the ground. We all stepped over and back again, and he says to me, that's fine. 
And if they ask, was you ever at sea? You can say you have crossed the line. Take off your dungaree jacket and give yourselves a rest. And we'll think of them cold nor'westers that we had at Paddy West's. There's just one thing for you to do before you sail away. That's to walk around the table where a bullock's horns do lay. And if they ask, was you ever at sea? You can say ten times round the horn. And with Jesus I must. I'm an old sailor man since the day that I was born. Put on your dunkery jacket and walk out looking your best. Just tell them that you're an old sailor lad that's come from Paddy West. <laughs> Thank you, Jude. Thank you, Judy. <laughs> and this is Marge here. Hi, David. Hi. Marge from Pinewoods. Hello. Hello. Hey. Well, thank you, David. I'm glad you got your sound sorted out. That was, I uh, enjoyed that one. Um, yeah, thank you. Uh, uh, can we have, uh, I can't remember who was meant to be after you. Or maybe I forgot to say anybody. Um, Margaret. Hey, uh, yeah, me. You're next, aren't you? All right. Followed by Simon. Follow okay. Am I? Follow am I muted? No, I'm, I'm you will be muted in a minute. Oh. We'll have you, you next, Margaret. Followed by Simon Flager. Okay. Cool. Okay. Now we'll mute everybody, and then you unmute. Again. Hello. Am I on? I'm trying to unmute myself. Currently unmuted. Hello? You have succeeded yeah. in unmuting. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, great. I'm on. All right. Um, this is a song that I got from the singing of Alan Kelly of Miramichi, New Brunswick. And it's a version of, um, you see it in the books as the lost lady found. And in fact, I think Percy Granger actually collected a version of this. But this is a completely different air. And Alan Kelly called this there was a rich school miss there was there was a rich school miss in england did dwell she lived with her uncle i knew her quite well down in a valley where the flowers bloom gay three gypsies betrayed her and stole her away for a long time she was missing and could not be found her uncle had searched the whole country around he went to the trustees with hopes and great tears but the trustees made answer she has not been here up spoke a young trusty with courage so bold oh, i'm afeard she's been murdered for the sake of her gold i'm afraid she's been murdered by her uncle he did say we'll put him in prison and there he will lie now there was a young squire who loved her also and it's off times to the schoolroom together they'd go i'm afraid she's been murdered so great is my fear if i'd the wings love a dove i would fly to my dear he's traveled through england through France and through Spain, and he ventured his life on the dark rolling main. He came back to Dublin, took lodging that night, and in that same house 
was his own heart's delight. Oh, when that she saw him, she flew to his arms, and he gazed on her features and her other charms. What brought you to Dublin, my dear, he did say. Three gypsies betrayed me and stole me away. Your uncle in England in prison does lie, and for your sweet life's sake is condemned for to die. Take me back to England, my dear, she did say, three thousand I'll give you, and I'll be your bride. She came back to England, her uncle to save, a crowd had gathered round that high gallows tree. To pardon, to pardon, to pardon I cry. I came back to England, my uncle to save. So from the high gallows he was led away. And the drums they did beat, and the music did play. All the people in the valley sure did rejoice when they came for to hear that the lost lady was found. From Alan Kelly, Miramichi, New Brunswick. Great Marge. Great Sympathic. Nice one, Margaret. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Um, what have we got next? Um, oh, yes, we've got uh, Simon Prager. And then can we have John White after that? Okay. After Simon. Okay. Um, this is a... This is actually originally was a song by Blind Blake, who was a wonderful ragtime guitarist, and um, uh, called Diddy Wah Diddy. And I don't sing Diddy Wah Diddy because it's uh, basically because it's juvenile filth, and uh, I like my filth mature. Um, anyway, this is a song. Uh, it's so it's a, a different song to that tune, and the song's called All by Myself. It comes from Big Bill Brunsey. I, this guitar, by the way, since John is on next, I must tell you, this guitar was made when John White was two years old.
away just around the world When I get back I'll have diamonds and pearls By myself, all by myself I don't need nobody's help, I can do it all by myself All by myself, all by myself I don't need nobody's help, I can do it all by myself What kind of guitar is that? It's a, little, it's a Martin Wurlitzer. It was a Martin that was made for the Wurlitzer chain of stores to sell. Huh. Wow. Uh, it's terrific, Simon. Thanks very much. Uh, John, John White. John, can you um, angle your uh, camera up a bit? It's, it's actually looking at your lap at the moment. Oh, we're going to unmute him. Oops. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I I'll try and angle. Try and angle it to your face if you can. Is that better? A little bit. A, bit it's a little bit better, a bit more. That's it. Perfect. As, oh, oh, God. It's, it's not, not gripping. It's not How's that? Uh, uh, that? That sort of got your, the, your lower jaw. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Well, That's anyway. Fine. Anyway. The words are matter, right. Uh, right. Anyway, first of all, uh, uh, ain't I lucky? Because um, Simon uh, lives only a short distance from me, so I have the privilege of sitting in my garden and, have, and hearing uh, Simon, uh, 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 hearing a marvelous professional blues man playing to me. Anyway. Anyway, um, hang on, John. I think he's just frozen. Yes. How am I doing? We can hear you now. Yeah, okay, can I go ahead? I'm waiting for Livy. Go for it. Right, okay. Um, I thought of this song uh, last week when I heard that uh, Donald Trump was trumpeting his belief in the slogan uh, uh, of, uh, the, of how we, we must... Uh, or, or behave, law and order, or law and order, as it uh, tends to be. And uh, uh, we've also had plenty of, of trumpeting of law, law and order over the last 50 years over here in the UK, uh, principally, of course, from Madam Thatcher. But also, 50 years ago, something very strange happened, though. We had a great train robbery when a group of crooks took over a train in the middle of the night and try to nick a, 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 a millions in, in banknotes. And uh, you and McCall were so interested in this whole question of morality, of money, that he wrote this uh, particular song, which is called Legal Illegal. That's a fabulous uh, one, yeah. yeah. And it's, um, it's Ewan's take uh, on how society deals with, with, with the law. Uh, so here we go. Every time you pick up a newspaper, every time you turn on the TV, you can bet your old boots that at some point you'll see a high-ranking copper or Tory MP calling on all who are British and free to stand up and defend law and order. Now, it's illegal to rip off a payroll it's illegal to hold up a train but it's legal to rip off a million or two that comes from the labors that other folks do to steal from the many on behalf of the few is the thing that is perfectly legal it's illegal to carve up your missus or put poison in your old man's sea. But poison the rivers, the seas and the skies, and poison the mind of a nation with lies, if it's done in the interest of free enterprise, is a thing that is perfectly legal. It's illegal if you are a traveller to camp by the side of the road, 
what is proper and right for the rich and the great to live in a mansion on a feudal estate that was got from the people by pillage and rape. That's what they call a tradition. If you f fashion a bomb in the kitchen, you're liable to... I'll start that again. If you fashion a bomb in the kitchen, you're guilty of committing a crime. But a bloody great nuclear plant is okay. Though plutonium processing hastens the day when this tight little isle could be blown right away. All the same, it is perfectly legal. Now it's legal to sing on the telly, but they make bloody sure that you don't. If you sing about racists and fascists and creeps and those in high places who live off the weak and those who are selling us right up the creek. The con men, the fakers, the shakers, the takers, the whole bloody gang of exploiters. You will go. Well done, and well done you and wherever you are. Uh, excellent, John. Thank you for that one. Unfortunately, it's always a bit depressing with songs like that, how 50 years have gone by and yet it all still relevant. Yeah. Uh, I, I bet if Mac is with you tonight, he remembers the first night that you sang it. <laughs> He probably does. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, so we have uh, Sheila Miller of uh, oh. next, followed by the Racker. Oh, really? All oh, right. Okay. Um, Hang on. I'll wait for everybody to be muted. That took me by surprise. Um, this is uh, a short song by Mike Waterson, and I'm going to start with the chorus. Uh, I've got a light dazzling me. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we've had uh, we've had a couple of aquatic animals. This is sort of well, it's not really about a non-aquatic animal, but you know, it's not really about refugees either. I've I've always thought he meant something else um, by the word in this, and sadly, it's too late to ask him. Oh, I want to be a mole in a hole, digging low and slow. I think I might take this down. Ah, I want to be a mole in a hole, digging low and slow. I want to be a fly, flying high in the sky. I want to be a mole in a hole. Digging low and slow. I want to be a fly, flying high in the sky. Well, I woke up this morning and my hair was a mess. My feet, they smelled and I got bad breath. I may look good, but I feel like death. Because I am a refugee and I want to be a mole in a hole. Digging low and slow. I want to be a fly, flying high in the sky. I want to be a mole in a hole, digging low and slow. I want to be a fly, flying high in the sky. Well, I had a friend and he had a friend in Jesus. He used to read the good book every day. My friend, he got so friendly with friend Jesus. Friend Jesus took my only friend away. And I want to be a mole in a hole, digging low and slow. I want to be a fly, flying high in the sky. I want to be a mole in a hole, digging low and slow. I want to be a fly, flying high in the sky. Oh, well, I love the flowers and I love the trees. I love the grass and I love the trees. And I like 
start that verse again. Again, and try to get it right. Well, I love the flowers and I love the trees. I love the grass and I love the bees. And I like the birds on their LPs because I am a refugee and I want to be a mole in a hole digging low and slow. I want to be a fly, flying high in the sky. I want to be a mole in a hole, digging low and slow. I want to be a fly, flying high in the sky. My friend, he was as wise as Mr. Wise Owl. He could count from one to ten, the A to Z. My friend, he got so wise, he got religion. That's why I'm alive today and he is dead. And I want to be a mole in a hole, digging low and slow. I want to be a fly, flying high in the sky. I want to be a mole in a hole, digging low and slow. I want to be a fly, flying high in the sky. Yeah. 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 Thanks, Sheila. Uh, and now for something completely different. We'll have the racker, followed by Tony Phillips, please. After the racker. You want to unmute? Do you want to unmute yourself, Racco? Where is he? Can't find him. Let's, has he gone? I can see him, but he seems to be struggling to find his unmute. I've unmuted you, Racco. Oh, no, I haven't. Unmute. No, I can't unmute him. I think I can. Hey, he's done Am it. I audible now? Yes. Yeah, these, these devices play... Uh, play tricks with me. Anyway, a few years ago, I lived in a lovely place with a lovely name uh, called uh, Sandy Cove. Uh, a name so lovely that Penguin Ireland, a few days ago, changed its name uh, to Sandy Cove. And uh, it's gorgeous. Now, I lived there and it's a fantastic place. It's got a lovely beach. It's got a splendid uh, swimming place called the 40 Foot. It's got the James Joyce Tower. It's got a pub which is my favorite pub and it's a Joyce, James Joycean shrine. And um, anyway, so I wrote this um, poem celebrating Sandy Cove. And you'd think that the name Sandy Cove would be, must be straightforward, but it's not straightforward. There's a mystery there, a mystery that uh, the authorities in Ireland do not recognize or disguise it. But I have found out the truth about the meaning of the word Sandy Cove, which as I say, seems so clear, seems so descriptive and lovely, but it's not accurate. So anyway, um, in Ireland, I should explain that uh, the word mot uh, is, is good uh, Dublin term for uh, a girl. And when the girl becomes old and respectable and wise and venerable, she turns into an L one. And in this piece, the old ones are up sunbathing uh, and reminiscing about all the lovely restaurants and pubs that they've uh, eaten in. So everything else is clear as crystal, I hope. So here we go, Sweet Sandy Cove. Sweet Sandy Cove's a handy cove for mammies and little babbies and cockle shells and bardo bells and flabbies. When I say, Mammies and how mammies embraces daddies. Oh yes, the way man embraces woman and whiskey paddies. I'm glad that's clear. I hope that's clear as the sky on a summer's day, the sun smiling in pure amazement over Scotsman's Bay. 
our grand little inlet sparkling like valley gown, and owl ones up in the Basque region, sitting down, snoozing and snug and free from fret and sorrow, remembering Caveston's Juggies Well, Danielle's Fitzgerald's and Brasserina Mara. That Babby Canute in the birthday suit is in dire distress, caught between firm, warm world as experienced up to press and this cold, bold, splashy who knows what under the flashy eyes of a Mediterranean mot. Make up your little mind, sighs Maria del Pilar. Oh, how I wish I was in a tapas bar. Everyone else happy as Larry, happy to tarry every kid in mid lick of ice cream of a stick down the little red lane. What happened the rain? The shabby, the chic, bum cheek to bum cheek, all one under the sun. But Sandikov, why that name? Because the cove is sandy. What's your game? No game. Sandy Cove is a garbled echo of the Gaelic sunny go, which in true translation shows the secret of Sandy Cove. It means bay of bliss, cleft of joy, inlet of ecstasy, lucky Al Cove, for this is Ireland's happy, sappy, slappy, snappy, and sweet as sugar, Candy Cove. They didn't pay me a penny for doing that. Cheers. <laughs> That's <wonderful>. <laughs> <laughs> Should be worth millions for that. Kind of that was that was excellent. Um, uh, next, we've got a newcomer, Tony. You've not been with us before, have you? It's true. No, this is my first visit. Well, welcome, welcome. You're very nice kind. to see you. Um, and um, if you'll give us, uh, we'll mute everybody and then unmute, and then you have to unmute yourself. Yeah. And uh, Riggy will follow you, Tony. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, hi folks. Um, I'm up from Suffolk, so we're quite a long way away, but I guess there's people from all over tonight, aren't there? Um, one really strange thing, I discovered that Amanda McLean is in fact your usual host. And the song I'm going to sing uh, was in the same song competition that Amanda entered three years ago in Bury St Edmunds at the Milkmaid Folk Club. Um, the song I'm going to sing you is a song about singing in sessions, which has been turned into a national touring project. And we're collecting people's stories from all over the country. So, so far we've visited 87 different sessions and uh, we're just catching up now with a wonderful world of Zoom and virtual sessions. So there's a website called rollingon.org. And if you want to have a look at that, um, and send us your stories about why we've all been doing this for the last X number of years and why we love it so much. There'll be a book and a short film coming out probably next year. So it's got a rollicking chorus, um, which I won't be able to hear you singing, but the chorus just goes rolling on, very simple. It's eight o'clock on a cold winter's evening, the old sun is on and a candle but the usual eyes ready and waiting now ain't that a wonderful sight oh we've sung in this since the seventeen hundreds the clothes may have changed but we sing the same songs loving Table. 
Part, Tony, so that, that you were telling us yeah, about I the think website. I sent Livy the link, didn't I? I yeah, think just stick it in the conversation me. on the right and we'll all note it down. I'll do that. Thanks, Thank folks. Hmm. Excellent. Thanks, Tony. See you again, hopefully. Um, who have we got? We've got Riggy next, followed by Tara. All righty. <laughs> Hang on, hang on, Riggy, we haven't muted everybody. Yes, we have. Have we? Are we all complete now? So neat and even and complete. Here's uh, one from Pal's uh, uh, ancestors. Great to have a country American sea song. I'm going away to leave you, love. I'm going away for a while. But I'll return to you someday if I go 10,000 miles. The storms out on the ocean, the heavens may cease to be. This world would lose its motion, love, if I prove false to thee. Well, don't you see that mournful dove who's flying from pine to pine? He is mourning for his own true love, just like I mourn for mine. The storms out on the ocean, the heavens may cease to be. This world would lose its motion, love, 
If I could cause to thee, who's gonna shoot your pretty little foot? And who will love your hand? And who's gonna kiss your ruby red lips when I'm in a far off land? The storms out on the ocean. The heavens may cease to be This world would lose its motion If I prove false to The LGBTQ verse Whatever those letters are Ah, Papa's gonna kiss my ruby Well, Papa's gonna shoe my pretty little foot and mama's gonna love my hand and sister can kiss my ruby red lips cause i don't need no man the storms out on the ocean the heavens may cease to be this world would lose its motion if I prove false to thee, I'll never go back on the ocean. I'll never go back on the sea. I'll never go back on the girl I love, lest she gun back on me. The storms out on the ocean, the heavens may see. would lose its motion love if I proved false to me. Lovely, Ruggie. Excellent, Riggy. Um... What does oh yes, we've got Tara next and then Caroline after Tara. Please. Once we're all muted. Hi. <laughs> Thanks, Livy. Um, well, I've been thinking a lot. I just love coming along to Sharps and I've been thinking about when I used to come along physically and um, a long, long time ago. And I was thinking about, everybody remember Sean and Sue? Sean, they used to come and sing. I think he sang a song about lavender trousers that I seem to remember vaguely. But he sang a lot of sea shanties too, and I, I never sing sea shanties. But um, Tony Phillips singing, talking about rolling, made me think of Roll the Old Chariot along. So I'm going to try and sing it, and I want you to sing the harmonies, because sometimes I might sing the harmonies, so you better sing the tune as well a bit. Anyway, here we go. <laughs> sing along, please. We'll be all right if the wind were in our sails. We'll be all right if the wind were in our sails. We'll be all right if the wind were in our sails. And we'll all hang on behind. And we'll roll the old chariots along. We'll roll the old chariots along. We'll roll the old chariots along. And we'll all hang on behind. We'll be all right if we make it round the horn. We'll be all right if we make it round the horn. We'll be all right if we make it round the horn. And we'll all hang on behind. And we'll roll. We'll roll. We'll roll. And we'll all hang on behind. And a night on the shore wouldn't do us any harm. A night on the shore wouldn't do us any harm. A night on the shore wouldn't do us any harm. And we'll all hang on behind. And we'll roll. We'll roll. We'll roll. And we'll all hang on behind. 
and a nice glass of beer wouldn't do us any harm. A nice glass of beer wouldn't do us any harm. A nice glass of beer wouldn't do us any harm. And we'll all hang on behind. And we'll roll the old chariot along. We'll roll the old chariot along. We'll roll the old chariot along. And we'll all hang on behind. Thank you. That's what we'll do when COVID's over. Yay. Yay. Thanks, Tara. That was a, a jolly one. I like those. Um, uh, Caroline, and then I think after Caroline, we'll have a break. But let's, uh, Caroline, give us a song. You'll have to mute everybody and all that first. Right, everyone hear me, I hope. This is yep, um, something of a river shanty, I guess. Well, I wish I was in Mobile Bay, screwing cotton all of the day, but I'm stowing sugar in the hole below, 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 below. Ho! Hey, ho, below, below, stone sugar in the hole below. Hey, ho, below, below, stone sugar in the hole below. The JM White, she's a new design. Stern to stem, she's mighty fine. She can beat any ship on the Orleans line. Stone sugar in the hole below. Ho! Hey ho, below, below, stowing sugar in the hole below. Hey ho, below, below, stowing sugar in the hole below. Tell the mate we got bad news, can't get the steam from the fire in the flue. The engineer did bellow, stowing sugar in the hole below. Ho! Hey ho, below, below, stone sugar in the hole below. Hey ho, below, below, stone sugar in the hole below. The captain's on the quarter deck, scratching away at his old neck. Heave the larboard lead and let her go, stone sugar in the hole below. Hey ho, below, below, stone sugar in the hole below. Hey ho, below, below, stone sugar in the hole below. I knew a girl in Louisiana, met her down, her name was Hannah. She stamps her feet as she's playing the piano, stone sugar in a hole below. Ho! Hey ho! Below, below, stone sugar in the hole below. Ho! Hey ho! Below, below, stone sugar in the hole below. Hey ho! Below, below, stone sugar in the hole below. Ho! Hey ho! Below, below. Stone sugar in the hole below. Stone sugar in the hole below. Stone sugar in the hole below. Well shown. Hey. I like these shanty ones you can all sing along to. Uh. Um, Shame you can't hear everyone singing along. Oh, it is indeed. Um, yeah, nice neighbours, we're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> One day. Um, have we got any parish notices? I've got one. Let me just stop the recording for this. Hey, hi, David. I've just started the recording again. So. Uh, and then Jim Lucas can follow, follow David. Oh. Okay.
Unmute, David. There you go. There you go. And uh, this is called Young Edwin in the Lowlands, and it's pretty gory, I must say. Come on, all you wild young feet. Hello? Come all you wild young people and listen to my song that I will unfold concerning gold that drives so many wrong. Young Emma was a serving girl and she loved a sailor bold. He plowed the main much gold to gain for his love, so we've been told. He plowed the main for seven years and then returned it home. As soon as he put foot on the shore, unto his love did go. He went unto young Emma's house his gold all for to show that he had gained all on the main all on the lowlands low my father keeps a public house down by the side of the sea there you shall go and stay this night and there you'll wait for me. I will meet you in the morning, but don't let my parents know that you name it is young Edwin who plowed the lowlands low. Young Edwin, he sat drinking till time to go to bed. He little knew the sorrow that night around his head. Then Edwin, he got into bed and he scarcely was asleep. When Emma's cruel parents soft in his room did creak. They stabbed him and dragged him out of bed and to the sea did go. They sent his body floating down all in the lowlands low. And Emma, poor Emma, she had such a dreadful dream. She dreamt she saw young Edwin's blood a flowing like a stream. Oh, Father, where's the stranger came here last night to stay? Oh, he is dead, no tales can tell. A father, he did say. Then, Father, Cruel father, you will die a public show for the murdering of young Edwin who plowed the lowlands low. The fishes of the ocean swim o'er my lover's breast. His body rolls in motion. I hope his soul's at rest. The shells all on the seashore as they're rolling to and fro remind me of young Edwin who plowed the lowlands low. Full many a year she passed away, she tried to ease her mind, crying, oh my friends, my love is gone, and I am left behind. Then Emma, Poor Emma, to bed 
Bedlam was forced to go. And her shrieks were for young Edwin, who ploughed the lowlands low. Glorious again. Mm -hmm. That was pretty good, David. Yes, on the draw level, quite scored uh, quite high for that one. Oh, yes. Beautiful singing. Um, can I just remind anybody who is uh, uh, who would like to sing, who hasn't sung yet, to uh, and would like to just to put their hand up on the list and uh, just reminding those because I notice there's quite a lot of singers without hands up. <clears throat> Um, meanwhile, Jim, uh, welcome, Jim. You've not been with us before. Um, and after Jim, we'll have John Johnson. You need to unmute yourself, Jim. Yes, I unmuted myself and then it muted me. <laughs> um, yeah, I said we have a gig on the 14th and we were practicing this afternoon and my dear friends wanted to do everything in keys that, <clears throat> uh, with the concertina that I uh, don't normally do. So this is one uh, old standard that I hope my fingers will remember. As I rode by the dockside one evening so rare To view the still waters and take the salt air I heard an old fisherman singing this song Oh, take me away, boys, for me time is not long Dress me up in me all skins and jumper no more on the docks i'll be seen just tell me old shipmates i'm taking a trip mate and i'll see you someday in fiddler's green now fiddler's green is a place i've heard tell where fishermen go if they don't go to hell Where the weather is fair and the dolphins do play And the cold coast of Greenland is far, far away Dress me up in me oilskins and jumper No more on the docks I'll be seen just tell me, old shipmates, I'm taking a trip, mate, and I'll see you someday in Fiddler's Green. Where the sky's always blue and there's never a gale, and the fish that come on board with a flip of their tail. You can lie at your leisure, and there's no work to do. And the skipper's below, making tea for the crew. Dress me up in me oilskins and jumper. No more on the docks I'll be seen. Just tell me, old shipmates, I'm taking a trip, mates, and I'll see you someday in Fiddler's Green. When we're back in the docks and the long trip is through, there's pubs and there's clubs and there's lassies there too. Oh, the girls are all pretty and the beer is all free and there's bottles of rum hanging from every tree dress me up in me oilskins and jumper no more on the docks i'll be seen just tell me old shipmates i'm taking a trip mate and i'll see you someday in fiddler's green now I don't want a harp, nor a halo, 
not me. Just give me a breeze and a good rolling sea. I'll play me old squeeze box as we sail along. And the wind in the rigging will sing me this song. Dress me up in me oilskins and temple. No more on the docks I'll be seen. Just tell me, old shipmate, I'm taking a trip, mate, and I'll see you someday in Fiddler's Green. Just like the good old days, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Well, except for we all look a little bit new days. <laughs> Excellent. Thanks for that, Jim. You can come back. Um, can uh, John, John Johnson, you've not been with us before either. Hi. Um, welcome. And Thanks for having me. Yeah. After, after you, John, um, we'll, uh, Declan Coyne will um, give us a song. Middle. We'll mute. And then you unmute yourself. You can hear me, yeah? Okay, thanks. There's a path across the ocean. There's a track across the sea. There are green and sunny lands. In some foreign country, I will leave my own dear native home and sail across the sea. And when weary, I'll return to my own country. Why did I leave? my home or why did i cross the deep or why did i leave the land where my forefathers sleep i sigh for their shore as i sail across the sea Will I ever get at last lovely Aaron of thee? The palm trees wave high and the fair myrtles spring. And to the maids of Aaron the small birds sweetly sing, but I cannot see the shamrock or the plant so dear to me. Yet I hear the linnet sing in my own country. I hear no Sabbath bell to awake the Sunday morn, or I hear no reaper sing among the yellow corn, but I hear the tyrant's voice on the wail of slavery. Yet I hear the linnet sing in my own country. Why did I leave my home? Or why did I cross the deep? Or why did I leave the land where my forefathers sleep? 
as I friends chore as I sail across the sea. Will I ever get a glance, a lovely errand of thee? And there's a sigh for every hope. There's a bomb for every pain. Yet me heart is nearly broken sore till I return again to my own dear little fireland where I was bred and born. Then I'll hear the reaper sing out among the yellow corn. Why did I leave my home? Or why did I cross the deep? Or why did I leave the land? Where my forefathers sleep, I sigh prayer and short as I sail across the sea. Oh, will I ever get a glance, lovely errand of thee? That was just stunning. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Johnny. Oh, lovely, Lisa, how are you? Missing you very much, as I said in the chat. <laughs> Great to see you. God bless you. That was tremendous. Thank you, John. That was that was that was terrific. Um, uh, Declan, I'm sorry, uh, you're gonna have to follow that. I'm sure you can. You need to you need to unmute yourself, Declan. Okay, was I talking to my son? You were. Okay. I was just saying, Libby. Uh, you don't realize how many times I've had to follow Johnny Johnston. And I have to do it again. No better man. Well done, Johnny. <clears throat> um, I don't know whether I've done this one before, but uh, uh, I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, American Stranger. I'm a stranger in this country. From America I came. No one here knows me or can tell to me my name. In this strange country I have roamed for a while. Far from my darling by many miles. I have traveled this country both early and late. My hardships have been many, my trials have been great. I courted a pretty lass, but me she has disowned, yet determined through this wide world. With my love, I will roam. Some say that I'm a rip, I'm rakish. Some say that I'm wild. Some say that I am guilty. Fair maidens to be but I will prove them liars. If she'll come away with me 
to the plains of America, my darling to be. Now the sun that's in the firmament may give no more light, and the stars in the elements may fall in one night. The rocks they rend asunder, and the mountains they may move. Be before that I prove false to the one that I love. And the ship out on the ocean may it sail without sails, and the smallest of fishes turn into large whales. In the middle of the ocean, there may grow a myrtle tree before that I prove false to the one who loves me. And for my old mother, who I love so dear. May the heavens protect her, though I be not near. May the heavens protect her by land or by sea. For I'll always remember what she's done for me. Now this couple, they got married, and away they set sail. May all God attend them with a fine and pleasant gale. And when they have landed, they will dance and they will sing. On the plains of America, uh, serving their king. Well, as, as David pointed out, Declan. You're probably one of the only ones that can follow John after that. <laughs> <laughs> that was excellent. Um, very kind of you. I, for, I, forgot to, um, I forgot to say wow. who's next. Shall we have, let's have um, Elizabeth Block. Elizabeth, have you been with us before? No, not this particular one. I have been to, uh, <laughs> I've been spending a lot of time on these. On these Zoom <laughs> gatherings lately, what else yeah. is there to do? Great. Well, well yeah. welcome, Elizabeth. And what we do is that we um, will mute everybody. And after you, there'll be Chris Lamb. Okay. Uh, first. You must unmute yourself. I know a parody of Fiddler's Green. Uh, there used to be a folk club in Toronto called Fiddler's Green. And uh, the late Stu Cameron wrote a <laughs> parody about the club. Uh, one verse is, says, um, the bagels are toasted, the butter is free, and the coffee and tea taste identically. This is true, I used to go there. But what I thought I'd sing is Jack Ashton. I don't know if you know this, it's by Keith Marsden. Jack Ashton, somebody is nodding. He was a real person, and he was a storyteller. I think he told stories of his, the, his own imaginary exploits in everything from sports to science. And he was legendary in Keith Mas Marsden's parents' time, as you'll figure out from the first bit. Oh, the times were hard and mean, and our childhood days were lean. 
in the land they said was fit for Flanders heroes. It was all a seaside show where the poor folk couldn't go. We just stood outside while others watched the heroes. And we only had to spend what our friend Sam Clegg would lend. There was little of Lloyd George's promised glories. But each evening in the street, by the gas lamp we would meet, and we'd listen while Jack Ashton told his stories. I we sat there and listened with our mouths open wide, though we knew in our hearts that the old devil lied. But we needed to believe in the magic he would weave, and we took a glass for old time's sake the day Jack died. Our all-knowing parents said he'd a screw loose in his head and that we was daft to listen to his lies. But we saw their daily grind, heard the magic in his mind, and we knew who was daft and who was wise. Though he nearly broke our necks playing soccer on the wreck, and his bowling with a corky could be gory. When the evening sun went down, by the lamp we gathered round, and we'd listen while Jack Ashton told a story. Why we sat there and listened with our mouths open wide, though we knew in our hearts that the old devil lied. But we needed to believe in the magic he would weave, and we took a glass for old time's sake the day Jack died. Now that Jack's been laid to rest, if there's any justice left, he'll be telling stories to the Holy Ghost. And gathered round his knee, open-mouthed as we would be, sit saints and angels, all the heavenly host. And he'll tell them how he saved little Moses from the waves, and slew Goliath with one mighty blow. While an all-forgiving Lord listens, smiling at his word, as we did by the lamppost long ago. I, we sat there and listened with our mouths open wide, though we knew in our hearts that the old devil lied. But we needed to believe in the magic he would weave, and we took a glass for old time's sake, the day Jack died. The late Keith Marston. Yeah. <laughs> 1991, just after, just after they got back from Sidmouth Festival, and just a month before Peter Bellamy. Well, oh. month and a half. Thanks, Elizabeth. That was lovely. Um, well, there we've got Chris Lamb next, followed by Tom Finn. Here's me sheep crook and me black dog, I give them to you. Here's me bag and me budget, I bid them adieu. Here's me black dog and me sheep crook, I leave them behind. Fine laurel, fine flora, you proved all unkind. Unto my dear Dinah, these words I did say. Tomorrow we'll be married, love. Tomorrow is the day. Oh no, my dear Willie, my age is too young. One day till our wedding is one day too soon. 
I'll go into service if the day ain't too late to wait on a fine lady, it is my intent. And when into service a year or two more, it's then we'll be married, love, and both settle down. A little while later, a letter was wrote to say that my dear Dinah had changed her mind. She said that she'd lived such a contrary life. She said she could never be a poor shepherd's wife. Here's me sheep cook and me black dog, I give them to you. Here's me bag and me budget, I bid them adieu. Here's me black dog and me sheep cook, I leave them behind. Fine Lolo, fine Flora, you proved so unkind. A great one. Yes, Thank you, Chris. Um, I'm just noticing we might actually be making history tonight with our Zoom, in that we've got uh, we've only got five hands left for people who sung once. So the likelihood is that there might just be a second song for a few. So if you like to start put your hands up again, I will do a first um first come first serve type well i might just choose you never know anyway tom finn is next followed by <coughs> okay um this is uh, a song called uh, The Garden Mother's Lullaby. It was written by a chap called Joseph Campbell back in 1904, I think it was. And uh, he got together with a chap called Herbert Hughes who collected the air in Donegal back in 1903, the year before that. And they collaborated on a few songs. They also uh, wrote uh, My Lag and Love together with uh, Campbell writing the, the lyrics and uh, Herbert Hughes again uh, doing the the the, uh, the uh, orchestration of pro providing the air. Anyway, so um, there's a lot of references in this to Irish mythological creatures, I suppose. But so uh, <laughs> I don't know whether yeah, they, some of it might be gobbledygook to you. But anyway, we'll sing it. <clears throat> Sleep, oh babe, for the red beans. The silent twilight's fall. She uh, evil from the grey rock comes to wrap the world in thrall. Alan, for oh, my child, my joy. My love and heart's desire The cricket sing you lullaby Beside the dying fire Dusk is drawn and the green man's thorn is wreathed in rings of fog. Shivra sails his boat till morn across the starry bog. Alland van o the pale moon hath brimmed her cusp in and weeps to hear the
the sad sleep tune I sing, O oh, love, to you. Faintly sweet doth the chapel bell ring o'er the valley dim. Tear man's peasant voices swell in fragrant evening hymn. A land and oh, the low bell rings, my little lamb to rest. And angel dreams till morning sings its music in your breast. Sleep, O oh babe, for the red bee hums, the silent twilight's fall. Evil from the grey rock comes to wrap the night in thrall. Alan, Van O, my child, my joy, my love and heart's desire. The cricket sing you lullaby beside the dying fire. That's it. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you, Tom. Um, you could do, yes. David Kidman, can you do it one next? And um, Clive, are you singing? Yeah. I, at the moment, I'm not singing. Okay. Because I'm just listening. I'm just uh, listening to you lot. Fair enough. Fair enough. But uh, <coughs> no, no, I'm not singing tonight. Okay, fine. Thanks. I'm just gonna sing. So we've got um, Tom next, followed by. Uh, David Kidman. I mean, David Kidman followed by Lisa Null. Sorry, Tom. Okay, I've unmuted myself, yeah? Thank you. Oh, I got confused there, Livy. Sorry. I was just thinking. Am I going through a time loop? I've just heard Tom. <laughs> yeah. Ah, never mind. Someone's got to follow Tom. This is rather different to the sort of stuff I normally do. Um, it's been prompted by the fact that uh, we heard a couple of weeks ago now, I think it was, of the death of blues guitarist Peter Green. Very tragic. Um but what a character, what a musician. And there was a wonderful tribute song that was written by a guy called Ron Truman Border down in the South, uh, who will play the blues for Peter Green, which I've been singing, but then I just heard that Ron himself passed away only a couple of days ago. So it, it's sort of even more poignant to sing that song tonight. I hope you won't mind indulging me in that. <clears throat> so it's a bit of a memorial to them both. <clears throat> he got hands like a woman, soft and smooth. He let his fingers do the talking, and those mountains moved. But his eyes they told of troubles, that few of us have seen. Who oh, play the blues for Peter Green? Well, I never got religion. It ain't worth a damn. But I caught a glimpse of heaven 
in a mortal man. For the sweet Lord play the Gibson and the devil beat a tambourine. But who'll play the blues for Peter Green? And who will play for the broken heart? Who will play for the shattered dream? Who'll play for all the wasted years? Play the blues for what might have been. For some will pay the piper, some call the tune, and some will chase his shadow on the dark side of the moon. But when the angels whisper, when the sirens scream, who'll play the blues for Peter Green? For there's a thin line between madness and genius, so they say, stretching out from midnight to the cold, cruel light of day where businessmen make music for the ghosts in the machine who'll play the blues for peter green and who will play for the broken heart who will play for the shattered dream Who'll play for all the wasted years? Play the blues for what might have been. Well, he talked a little funny and acted a little strange. But I believe that love still burns. Some things never change. When he's walking in the wilderness, awaking from a dream, who'll play the blues for Peter Green? Yes, who'll play the blues for Peter Green? For I need someone's hand. To lead me through the night I need someone's arms To hold and squeeze me tight Oh, but when the night begins Oh, I'm at an end Because I need your love so bad yes i need your love so bad i'm showing my ignorance i i don't I, I, know peter green is he english or american or where was he from english first band he was with john mayles blues oh, breakers okay, okay I know, I... and then he moved on formed his own band called fleetwood mac oh, he was oh. With them for okay. a few years until right. he had um health problems and then the band sort of split aside and became a different band entirely when got hits and all that stuff um he was off the scene for a while then he made a comeback uh when his health improved and ah. was with the splinter group until shortly a while ago and then of course as i say he died just a few weeks back real tragic one of the finest finest blues guitarists this country's produced wow. I think so, yeah. 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 who was the right um who was the second person you mentioned which other person sorry you said that the writer of the Ron, song died? Ron oh, the writer Border. of the song, yeah. Ron Truman Border. 
Okay, thanks, David. Can we have um, Lisa Null followed by Rick, please? Okay. You can hear me? We can hear you. Okay. All right. <clears throat> For many years, I lived right outside a town called Scranton, Pennsylvania, which was the center of the anthracite country. Anthracite was home heating coal. It was known as clean coal. And my ex-husband ran a little newspaper there, and I got very close to... Um, my ex-father-in-law, who had lost his pension six months before his mine closed down, and I got to know a lot of the old coal miners there, took a real interest in the songs from that region. And this is a song that was collected in the early 20th century from a man who'd been singing it, and I think he was singing about a song uh, from a very hard time, not exactly a strike, but one of those periodic recessions that happened in coal mines when there were hard times and there was a slacking off of the demand for coal. So I'm going to sing this song. And one reason I like it, at least in the anthracite region, although they fought very hard for better conditions and they became a strongly unionized community of people, there was an also a lot of pride and sense that what they were doing was terribly important. And I think, and there's a lot of solidarity among them. And I think some of that comes out in this song. <clears throat> I'm a hard working miner. You can see by my hands, although I am honest and free. Oh, a dollar a day is very small pay for a man with a large family. I work in the mines where the sun never shines and daylight does never appear. With my lamp blazing red on the top of my head, and in danger I never know fear. Pity the poor man who works in the mines with the mules and the rats underground, where the smoke is so thick you can cut it with a stick and you can weigh it on scales by the pound. Oh, I work in the mines where the sun never shines and daylight does never appear. With my lamp blazing red on the top of my head and in danger, I never know fear. Oh, my face, it is black with the dust of the coal, though my heart, it is open and free. I would share my last loaf with the man that's in want, though I earned it so hard, you see. I work in the mines where the sun never shines and daylight does never appear. With my lamp blazing red on the top of my head and in danger I never know fear. Now, my kind friends, I must bid you goodbye. I cannot stay here any more. I will pick up my pack, throw it over my back, and I'm sure I will never see you more. Oh, I work in the mines 
where the sun never shines and daylight does never appear with my lamp blazing red on the top of my head and in danger i never know fear Lovely. Lovely. Yeah. Lovely. Wonderful. Yeah, thank you. Beautiful. Um, can we have um, Storm? Oh, one's disappeared. What happened? Oh, I was just about to put him on. Storm oh. is there. No, no. I see you. Before Storm, there was um, another new name and he's vanished. Oh, hmm. okay. Well, Okay, Storm. Rick, was it Rick? Um, and we're going to be everybody. Yes, it was you. Rick. You'll have to unmute yourself again. We haven't heard Tom Reed yet. I thought he just said he was. No, he's just gone. gone. Unmute, Storm. So one of the interesting things is that I've been looking through old uh, books. I've written stuff in uh, to find one song and discovering other things that never actually got typed up. That It's like, why didn't I ever type this up? Um, so this song is actually one of those. But the poem is one I've been doing for years. It's called A Blessing for Every Day. And the song is called Thanking the Women. And they're both original. A blessing for every day. May you experience a day to remember. May God's love help you to grow. May God's light shine bright in your eyes. May you give with the aid of its glow. It's time to thank the women who've helped to form our lives. Time to celebrate them as workers, lovers, wives. It's time to thank the women for all that they have done. Time to give them credit and their place beneath the sun. So thank you, Nancy Jessica, Pamela Grace, for the strength of your healing embrace. And thank you, Juanita, Rana, Kalinda, and Chase. We're glad you're all part of this race. We're grateful you've labored and mothered so long. We're grateful you've taught us to dare to push on. We're grateful you're fighters, marchers, and writers who struggle to get us to here. We're grateful you're ter teachers, midwives, and weavers, and women of every career. Yes, thank you, Lily, Sweet Fawn, Amanda, and Sue for the caring and sharing you do. And thank you, Nissa, Nicole, Muriel, Ian, and Drew, the world's truly brightened by you. It's time to thank the women who've helped to form our lives. Time to celebrate them as workers, lovers, wives. It's time to thank the women for all that they have done. Time to give them credit and their place beneath the sun. It's time to thank the women for all that they have done. Time to give them credit and their place beneath the sun.
thanks Thank Tom. Uh, now well, we have actually finished the list and we've got a few more hands up. Um, James, are you going to sing us a song? Read being anonymous. So. He went. Yes, please. Okay, James, you haven't uh, sung for us yet. Give us a song, please. All right, I'll do a shanty since we're in that sort of mood. Um, it's mostly chorus for you. <coughs> Is everyone muted? No. No. Come smiling, Lindy Lowe, you're the prettiest girl I know. On the finest boat that ever float on the Ohio, the Mississippi and the Ohio. Come smiling, Lindy Lowe, to the bayous deep and slow, on the finest boat that ever float on the Ohio, the Mississippi and the Ohio. Come smiling, Lindy Lowe, to the Bay of Mexico, on the finest boat that ever float on the Ohio, the Mississippi and the Ohio. Come smiling, Lindy Lowe, to the Louisiana shore, on the finest boat that ever float on the Ohio, the Mississippi and the Ohio. Come smiling, Lindy Lowe, for the bell done ring to go, on the finest boat that ever float on the Ohio, the Mississippi and the Ohio. Come smiling, Lindy Lowe, before that whistle blow, on the finest boat that ever float on the Ohio. Ohio, the Mississippi and the Ohio. Come smiling, Lindy Lowe, come get on board or row, on the finest boat that ever float on the Ohio, the Mississippi and the Ohio, the Mississippi and the Ohio. There you go. Yay. Yay. Thanks, James. We've had uh, a few of um, shanties tonight, but that's a nice one. I like that one. Mm. Um, Not heard that can, one before. Can we have um, Elizabeth Block, please, again, followed by Simon Prager? Huh. What's that on the... Hmm. Something you know, something you don't know. Whatever, whatever you whatever like. Whatever you like. I'm looking at the witch hazel blooming in the garden. Bright yellow flowers in the middle of winter time. And I tell my heart be strong like the witch hazel flower. And you will not be injured by this dark and troubled time. I take myself along to a place I go in winter. And look at that south facing bank covered with ice. And I tell my heart it all will melt and run down to the ocean. And you will not be injured by this dark and troubled time. We must say goodbye to the ones we love. We must say goodbye to many. And we must say goodbye in far too short a time. But I tell my heart, be thankful for the time we had together. 
And you will not be injured by this dark and troubled time. The times are full of menace, of danger rightly feared. Hatred turns to violence far away and near. If we reach out to our neighbor, protect and defend each other, then we shall not be injured by this dark and troubled time. I'm looking at the witch hazel blooming in the garden. Bright yellow flowers in the middle of winter time. And I tell my heart be strong like the witch hazel flower. And you will not be injured by this dark and troubled time. Witch Hazel by Tom Gala of Philadelphia. And a few more words by me. That was lovely. Thank you, Elizabeth. That was lovely. Um, Thank you. Uh, Simon, can we have uh, another one from you, please? And then after you, can we try uh, Rick Pole again? Because I see he's reappeared on our list. Uh, this is a song that I'm sure you will know. And I've, I've probably learned it 50 years ago. And um, I've been very irritated for the last 20 years, every time I've done it. Somebody said, ah, oh, Clapton. Because he sung it um, uh, no, not unaccompanied, uh, unelectrified, <laughs> unplugged. Um, and uh, he actually probably learnt it around the same time as me from somebody who recorded it 20 years before I was born, I would think. No, 10 years before I was born, anyway. Once I lived the life of a millionaire. Spending my money, I didn't care Taking my friends out for a mighty fine time Buying high-priced liquor, champagne and wine Then I, I began to be so low Didn't have a dog, no place to go If I ever get my hands on a dollar again, I'll hang on to it till the eagle grins. No, nobody wants you when you're down and out in your pocket, not one penny when it comes to friends. You haven't any. But as soon as you get on your feet again Everybody wants to be your long lost friend It's plain to see without a doubt Nobody wants you when you're down and out No, when you're down and out
everybody wants to be your long lost friend it's plain to see without a doubt nobody wants you when you're down and out no when you're down and out Oh, takes you back. It takes you back. Yeah. Yeah, sure. It does. I have to go look it up, but wasn't that Bessie Smith? That Didn't was it? Bessie Smith, definitely. definitely. Yeah, Bessie yeah. Smith recorded it, but Jimmy Cox wrote it. 1923. And Bessie Smith recorded it in 1929, six years after he wrote it. Ah. Ooh. We, got, we didn't know that. We just looked it up. <laughs> and, and Jimmy Cox wrote it as nobody knows you when you're down and out. That's what I heard. That's yeah, nobody I knows you, but it was sung as nobody wants you by blind Bobby Baker in 1927. And also <laughs> nobody needs you. It's been recorded as so. Oh. It's been around. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Thank you for all that. Wonderful information. It's, it's, all, in it's all in Wikipedia. Can, 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 can we have Rick, please? Rick, you've not been with us before. Welcome. Thank you. Sorry for disappearing on you. That's okay. The, what uh, we'll do is... My system froze up and there was nothing to be done except uh, a hard reboot and wait patiently for everything to come back. But back I am. So here's a, a song that was all but lost, written uh, 60 plus years ago by Bob Gibson, perfectly appropriate for any sing around, and, uh, uh, but it drifted into obscurity and has only just recently been uh, covered by a couple of younger groups. It's called I Come For To Sing. Some come to work, while others to play some just a while some sweet time away some come to laugh their voices do ring but as for me i come for to sing some come in winter to ward off the chill some come in summer to drink up their fill. Some come in autumn and others in spring. Whenever I come, I come for to sing. Some come to work while others to play. Some just a while, some sweet time away. Some come to laugh, their voices do ring. But as for me, I come for to sing. Some people have what others do not. Some like to tell me about what I ain't got. But I don't mind, it don't mean a thing. For when I come, I come for to sing. Some come to work and others do play some just a while some voices do ring but as for me i come here to sing some come to stay while others must leave some come to laugh while others still grieve but one and all, we want the same thing. For when we come, we come for to sing. For when we come, we come for to sing. Hey. Really, really nice. Did you write that? Bob, no, Bob Gibson. Bob Gibson. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Rick. Um, now we've come to the last, the last song of the evening. Uh, Martin Nail, can you give us a nice wandering home to catch the bus type <laughs> closing song, please?
Just unmute yourself first. You'll have to unmute yourself. I oh, know. I thought I had, but you probably just muted everybody after I'd unmuted myself or something. Okay. Um, what would I do? I'll, I won't do what I was going to do. I'll do um, the <clears throat> the time passes over more cheerful and gay. Since with lantern you act to drive sorrows away, sorrows away, sorrows away, sorrows away. Since with lantern you act. To drive sorrows away. Bright Phoebe arises high up in the sky with her red rosy cheek and her sparkling eye. Sparkling. harmonies in that thank you martin <laughs> <laughs> would that we could have sung the harmonies <laughs> in person we yes sang. We we sang. Did. Sure. <laughs> exactly. i did sing the harmonies you just couldn't hear me yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, of course we did of course we did right thank you everybody who sang it's thank you, thank you Libby. Singing I put a, I put a notice in the Thanks Bye. to everyone. Thanks to everybody. It was wonderful as always. Very good. Thanks to Caroline for meeting you. Wonderful to see you all. Thank you, Caroline, that was great. And thank I you. put a notice in the chat of a historic event that's going to be happening August 6th. Yeah, we saw that. Thank yeah. you. Oh, yeah. Hiroshima Day. Hiroshima. Yes. Yep. And there... We're going to have singers live from eight different con countries, including Australia, Jordan, and the country of Georgia. Wow. 
as well as England, Scotland, Canada, and the U.S. Yeah. So, yes. countries is this club? It's going to be three to five thirty Eastern time in the U.S. We is put it a... then so people from your part, from the English mm. and Scottish side, can join us. About eight o'clock. Ten thirty yeah. or something. So is that a Zoom thing or how does one I think. sign up? It it will be on uh, the Facebook page that's at the bottom of the what I put in the chat. Okay, not accessible to me, but that's okay. It's, it's a People's Music People's Network Music Facebook Network. page. Yeah. Right. People's Music Network for Songs of Freedom and Struggle Facebook page. I see, I'll see. Okay. All right, folks, good night. All right, good night. Good night.